I'm stuck in traffic here, but it's a good thing. Maybe this is why I'm stuck in traffic. Look what I see up here. Welcome to another episode of the 89 Garage, where in this episode, that happens. Real quick here, I just wanted to give a shout out to uh, BSG, Bone Shaker Garage. If you want to see someone that is really getting deep into his car, head on over to his channel and check it out. Uh, he's got his all the way down to bare metal. Um, used this neat little tool. I think it's a Harbor Freight piece, but uh, anyway, run over there, check that out. Give him some subs. Let's get him going and enjoy the rest of the video. We are out in the garage. Hoping to make some magic happen real soon. This is going to be our color combo. I kind of made a swatch last night. And again, this is our ratio for the blue. We're going to do this as well for four parts paint, three parts acetone, and one part catalyst. We're about to go down here, guys. Um, about ready to have some blue flying around in here. I have the GoPro up here, but I don't, I'm not 100% sure it's gonna do what I want it to. So I apologize if this does not work out. Um, I tried setting up a tripod and it just, everywhere I put it, it was in the way. Uh, unfortunately, the 8-9 garage is a, you know, just a residential garage. So I got the wing out here. Hoping that's okay, because uh, as you can see, we got leaves starting to make their way onto the ground. It is September 9th, so we're gonna go. So I'm time lapsing again with the GoPro, and I hope it turns out. I'm gonna crank up some Chevelle and let this thing rip. guys it has been let's see let's do the math about five days since I painted it and I'm going over it tonight with some 800 and I'm not trying to like scuff the thing up or anything basically all I'm doing is going over and just getting all these there's little bumps around you might be able to see them a little bit still but I've gone over and I've smoothed those out and it's really a lot easier to move my hand across it than it was before the shine is still there for the most part um, I also know that if you don't want to clear coat you can do this and then polish it and you will get a pretty dang good effect as well um, I am really really stoked about getting this done uh, tomorrow I'm gonna finish the rest of it I don't feel like pulling it out of the garage it's almost time for me to go to bed I, I am just absolutely stoked about this car. Uh, I think it looks absolutely stunning and amazing and all those sweet adjectives that you could use for it. Lots of descriptive words, you know. Dope, pimp, bad A, rad, whatever the hip stuff is now, lit. I don't know. Anyway, you guys... Uh, you're enjoying this as much as I am, and yeah.
Let's see how this clear coat turns out on Saturday. It is Friday night, and I've gone over all this best I can. Get all the bumps down. Well, crap. I left this out last night because we had a 20% chance of rain. Well, it turned into a 100% chance. It got rained on last night. I wasn't uh, too excited when I woke up and found that it had been rained on. But I was going to clay bar it today anyway if I get some time. So not a big deal. But at the same time, didn't really want it to get rained on. All right, I think I'm pretty much ready to, to go. I just need to wax and grease it and I think I'm good to go. I got everything taped off. One thing I did is I just flipped these around, flipped those around. So this was actually previously on the driver's side, and vice versa, and also flipped this upside down. Reason I did that is because there was still some dust from the blue paint and I also used a couple of these for the primer. So there was some dust on that. Tried to eliminate all the dust I can. I've got stuff up on all the dust sources. This would be a huge pain in the butt to cover up, but I don't think it's that big of a problem. Um, I also got my stuff all covered up over there. Um, yeah, so I need to take these in the house and come out and wax and grease this thing and get to work. Um, unfortunately, I really don't have a way to record it so uh, yeah maybe uh, maybe you're just gonna have to believe me that I did it I don't know whatever I also better mention that I'm using this mask um, so far it hasn't been really bad with the paint however everything I've read says you really need to be careful with the clear as far as uh, breathing that in. So that's why I'm trying to ventilate this the best that I can. Um, and I'm using that. I just barely swapped the filters on this. So it's got brand new filters for this exercise. And, oh. oh, again, same as the paint, using these filters. These. These are quart size, two bucks at Home Depot, and then I think these are two bucks for four filters also, somewhere in that price range. Um, and then classic stir sticks. Everything, everything's gonna be hunky-dory, I hope. Before we move on too much further in the video, will you guys please subscribe? It's gonna help me out a ton. All right, Frankie is waxed and greased. I'm gonna wait for it to uh, finish drying. It's still a little bit wet in some places. But we can get going here in just a second. Um, so, before I get going, I'll just kind of show you what I'm using. Again, I'll be using this Harbor Freight gun. This um, U-pole, I, I hope I'm saying it right. You pull, uh, this is four to one universal clear coat. Uh, this, this stuff here, I picked this because you can use this on solvent based paint systems. So this is solvent based, it's oil. So, you know, it's a solvent, close enough. Um, this says to apply two coats. I really think that uh, I'll be okay doing three. All right, guys, the first coat is on. I'm sweating like, uh, you know, me. Oh, food is all kind of sticky. I got the first coat on. Um, it's going down pretty good. Hopefully you can hear me. I just, uh, I'm really thinking it's gonna be a three coat job. Right, we'll see. I'm supposed to let this sit for about 10 minutes and then hop back on it. So, that's what I'll do. 
coat too of the clear coat is now done and it's, it looks better but I do think I'm sticking to my game plan and putting three on it here it is I'm telling you what I took this mask off a second ago and it friggin it's I took this mask off a second ago and it is you know I don't want to light a match in here I'll just say that uh, but I do think that it's coming along pretty dang good unfortunately being shinier you can see more flaws but again compared to how I got this car it is way way better and I can't wait to send a picture of it to the guy I bought it from I've had that goal since day one I don't know if I've ever mentioned it on the channel third coat down those fans just aren't working fast enough that I mean it's got to pull it down this way I guess but uh, anyway third coat is done it looks pretty dang good there are some places that may require a third I, or a fourth I mean but I don't know I'm going to let this thing dry a little bit and then look at it again I don't see any runs at all doesn't mean there aren't any but I don't see any runs anywhere so that is good this stuff laid down really really well the Harbor Freight gun is a freaking champion I just I can't believe that gun is that cheap it absolutely performed flawlessly the whole time I think a little little polishing job will bring it out a little bit better too maybe that's what I need to do is just let it sit now and then polish it up in a day or three or ten I don't know it looks really good though I'm very happy there are bits and pieces that I didn't see before there's a couple spots right here where somebody laid into it with a grinder or something it looks like got into it a little bit there's a huge dent right here that I fixed if you remember um, that was about right here but somehow I didn't see that there's some rot right here that we fixed lots of little spots uh, that got fixed that this had a great big hole in it if you remember that turned out pretty good I'm definitely better than I thought I'd be for my first shot but, uh, there's a couple holes in here we fixed a, a nice dent in here that uh, it's not perfect but there was a dent right there that I fixed of course we put a new hood on it um, I've had to fix this too I don't know if you remember that kind of sat down low so that's been fixed I mean you, you can tell that I did pretty good at the body work I just I just need to learn how to paint a little bit better and I don't know see there's some stuff that fell I, I'm hoping that wet sanding will bring a lot of that stuff out my goal was accomplished to not make it perfect but to make it look better I I'm very very happy with the way it's turned out we are about an hour past uh, you know when I sprayed it all so I just took all the tape and stuff off of it. So I'm just going around having a look. Uh, I must have brushed up against this thing right here. I don't know what happened. There's a run right there I got to hit. Uh, let's see. There's a run up here that I did. So I'm going to have to wait for all this stuff to... This needs polished, obviously. Um some of it looks really good like you know I wouldn't need to do much 
other than you know give her a polish but uh, some of it's gonna need wet sanded I also got a little run right in here I don't know if you can see that very well but that's the first time I've ever been able to see my reflection on Frankie I'll tell you that and then it's just you know stuff over here but overall I mean <laughs> I don't know what it's worth now it's got to be worth some money now doesn't it <laughs> it still stinks in here <coughs> that's gonna conclude this video I did what I could it looks better but not perfect and that's what we're aiming for right you can go back and see other videos and I've said that about 827.32 times it's good from far, but far from good. And it's uh, it's about a 30 footer. I don't know, maybe 10. Probably worth putting in a car show or two now, I guess. Thanks for watching. Another episode of the 89 Garage. Please like, share, and subscribe. There's lots more going on with this car in the next little bit. 351 time. And through the winter, I'm gonna debate in my mind this is exactly what we're going to do about a transmission. If we chance the T5 or we go to an AOD, my poor dog, I'm the only one home. She's, she's in there. Oh, maybe we ought to let her out. She wants to come out. I'm the only one home, so she's missing people. Come on. Come on. She's looking, looking for my wife and my daughters, but... They're not home. Come on, stay here. She's a little Westy. She really uh, has a lot of life. <laughs> I'll just say that. She'll do about anything for a treat. Watch this. Presley, you want a treat? You want a treat? Yep. I think that's a yes. Thanks, guys. Pizzao!